Hey everybody, it's Kim with Fortunate Creations. Thank you for stopping in. This is a channel where we talk about all kinds of crafts. So from amigurumi to weaving and anything in between, if you like crafting and being creative, stick around. I think you're gonna like it here. So I found this during a treasure hunt and I have been wanting to recreate it. You can see there's some potpourri inside there and they have a fake piece of fruit and then some felt for the um, pie crust. What I'd like to do is recreate it my way. So what you're going to need if you'd like to make one is a pie plate. I have a disposable little aluminum one here. You can use anything that's about this size. And then I have my own version of the crust. Now I didn't have mesh because they had mesh and then they had felt. So I didn't have that, but I did have these found them at a craft store. So I figured they would fit nicely and make a nice pie. Okay. So it's two things. I have my hot glue, hot glue gun plugged in and ready to go. And today in my treasure hunt, I found this bag of potpourri. It says it's apple cinnamon scent, and it actually even comes with a little tube that smells good. All right, we're going to need a pair of scissors. Snip that off of there. Now, if you don't have a bag of potpourri that comes with this, you can also use any of your oils that you might have. I grabbed these when I was on a treasure hunt. I've got orange, tea tree, jasmine, eucalyptus, let's see, spearmint, lemongrass. Mm, I might refresh this one with the lemongrass. So that one doesn't have a scent anymore. And then I've got uh, peppermint. Mm, uh, let's see, nutmeg. Oh, I like that one. I might use that one. And then last but not least, I have clove. Very strong. Love the smell of clove. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to go with... Let me try this. No, I'm going to go with the clove. All right, so I'm going to use the clove. Now I'm going to tip the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. And... Um, Gather all your stuff together. Go ahead and pause the video and come on back and I'll show you. We're going to learn together how to make this. Okay. All right. So here we go. We're going to tip this down. And here we go. So here's the pie plate. Okay. So you're going to open the bag of the potpourri. Be careful because it looks like it wants to pop out of this bag and make a mess. So, all right. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to put in these big chunks, but I will save them for holiday crafts. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put in the potpourri, but I'm, you got to make sure you're not going to fill it too full so that the top won't fill on. So make sure you get everything flattened down in and make sure your top will fit. There we go. Could it be this simple? All right, so the top's going to fit nicely. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take, what did I do with it? Here's my clove. Oh, nice and strong. So it's just going to take a few drops. Oh, the whole room smells good already. All right. Like I said, when you go on treasure hunts, you're going to find things like these oils and this potpourri and even this. Go ahead and grab it. Put it in your craft closet because you never know when you're going to want to make something like this. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue 
this onto here. Yes, people, it is that simple. So all I'm doing is a line of hot glue. Oop, you know me, too much hot glue all the time. <laughs> it's just what I do. Okay, go ahead, get it all the way around, and then flip it over. Press it down. Now remember, be careful because that hot glue is going to ooze through there and you're going to burn your fingers. So hold on to it. And then you're going to want to, let me get another stick of glue because that one's getting low. Keep that nice and handy. All right, so I've got another glue stick here. Now, I want to take little dots of the glue and put it right where the crust is, okay? Because you really do want it to adhere to the pie plan, pan, pie pan. <laughs> Easy for me to say, right? And you can go ahead and hold it. Now, remember, aluminum's going to get hot with the hot glue. So be careful. Hold this still for a little bit. You can even put a clip on this if you like to hold it. I'm going to go ahead and put a little clip on there. Make sure it's holding nice and tight. Right here's another little clip. Okay, I have dolphin clips. Tell me they're not so adorable. I can't even take it. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little dab of glue under here. And I'm going to add another dab of glue under here. And I've got two more clips. Then I'm going to go ahead and clip this and hold them on there. Okay, so you know hot glue. It only takes a second or two, and that should be good. If you don't have clips and you do have clothespins, go ahead and use those. That's fine. I just happen to have my cute little pins, and I couldn't help myself. So as we can see on the top of this one here, They've got the fake little lemon, which is adorable. So I want to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and use something right from inside the potpourri that fell out. How about that? That looks pretty, doesn't it? All right. So we're going to go ahead and attach this with more hot glue right onto that. And attach this with hot glue right onto that. And I do believe we just made a very nice pie. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Should I put a leaf on there? I'm thinking it needs a little something else. What about... I'm saying that because the other pie has a leaf on it. Let me see if I can find a leaf that's not torn in here. Let me see. I'm not finding one that's not torn. So, I wonder if I could just... No, because that's obviously upside down. Let me just dig around in here a bit. I'm making a little bit of a mess, but that's what crafting does, right? So I'm still digging. Well, this is drying, right? It's drying up real good. I may have to just say never mind and not go with a leaf on there because I'm not going to compromise and use one that's broken, you know? What's this? Will that work? No. Will it? No, I really want this one, but it's broken. And there are no others in there like that. So I'm going to go ahead and go without it because I don't want to use a broken leaf. Dang it. Well, Check this out. Just came out of the potpourri. Holy moly. Save that for another project. Certainly not this one. All right. Well, I looked. You can't say I didn't look for it. No other leaf in there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave it as it is. Just like this. I can go ahead and I can remove the clips. Okay. Put them back where they were. Again, trying to clean up from my messes as I make them. 
Now, switch this back up. <laughs> and here we go. Here is our pie. Pretty cute, right? Nice and simple. The only thing you can see, they did a fancy crust on here. I don't mind this crust. So if you don't like that crust, you can go ahead and do the felt or you can put any other kind of decoration on it. But I like it the way it is. There you go. I found a craft that I really liked and I said, let me recreate it. So I bought this for, I think it was $1.25 and I made this for about 25 cents because I had all the stuff. So there you go. All right. Remember, always be creative. Always check out my other videos. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Give me a share. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.